All right, let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. As one crook, your one and only Move Swiftly speaker checking in for a daily Move Swiftly thought, giving you a perspective on teamwork that you will not get anywhere else, man. <sighs> Humbled, right? Humbled. Felt great. Felt great. Well, first thing, felt great to be back. The trash talking trackies out here. Jupiter High School, West Palm Beach. You know, before I got heavy into the marathon training, I'd be out here every Wednesday. So seeing that this is the first first one after the, the massacre, right? The dehydration about 10 days ago two weekends ago it's good to be back and you know talking to the, the crew that has been through it man people that have have lived it done it all they all these all these folks talk about to be honest with you is the race that's coming up the races that they're doing the training for the races so there's tons of recommendations tons of leads tons of things that you need to be doing in regard that you can be doing in terms of using the resources around you all right so as far as today's move swiftly thought i gotta talk to you today today about the importance of being humbled, right? The importance of running your race, all right? Being humbled, running your race, all right? Today's workout was a, you know, normally you come out here on days like this and it's a speed day, you know, you, you, you're going, you're not going at marathon pace, you're going at like 10K pace, 5K pace, things like that. So today's workout, we're basically doing mile splits. We're doing three mile splits and I got humbled. I got humbled. I got laughed by a few folks. I got, I got, uh, you know, passed by folks and, you know, my, my legs started cramping a little bit and I had to make sure, you know, knowing what I had lived through just a couple of days ago that I stop and I make sure my legs are straight and I don't overdo it because I'm trying to outdo someone else. And this is the same thing in life, right? The same thing is true in life. Many times, too often, do we get so caught up in the comparison trap and trying to, you know, compete with folks and, and, and not to say competition's a bad thing. Listen, I love competition. I thrive. Like this, this is one of the reasons I became a jogger is because I, I thrive off that competition. But it's also important, too, <clears throat> to know when you got to humble yourself. It's also important to know when it's time to, to, to give yourself a break or give yourself a opportunity to get right all right don't ever 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 feel like you gotta outdo someone else or <clears throat> don't ever ever get into the point where you're not holding yourself accountable you're not making yourself work harder getting yourself a little better that day and it's all about what you did the day before and how much better you got all right but when you get into the comparison trap like you know one of the things i was working through as i was running my miles and i was seeing people pass me i was working through that the way i used to think in terms of oh man i was when you you slack and you got to push it you got to push it and i was calming myself down getting easy with it made sure that i finished the workout and that was the important thing is make sure you finish the workout finish your goal hit that goal that you set not the goal that somebody else has for you or anything like that all right <sighs> main website to check out to dive deeper into my world makeyourmove.com that's m-a-k-e-y-a-m-o-v-e.com one-stop shop for all your teamwork and your self-development needs as one crook shank you want to only move swiftly speaker checking out you guys continue to move swiftly we will talk more soon